Hello friends, this is Ganesh. How are you? And in this session, I'm going to explain a few basic components from the Adobe Forms perspective. As you ever, we have offline form and online form. So offline form, normally user is not able to edit. Online, so they're not able to edit the forms. Means once they give the input, they're able to give the input in the form. Then it will, once they click save or trigger any event, it will save in the database. But uh, we'll go one by one. So today I'm going to show some components mostly for the offline forms. Okay. So let's get into the slides and we'll see the properties of uh, the components. It depends on the components. The properties may vary. And we'll see a few values from the interface, means variables. We can declare some variables. And at the runtime, we are trying to pass the value to the uh, component using this interface variables okay so that could be a form interface or a global data or whatever it is and you can just uh, walk around the properties like default values and how to bind uh, a variable to a component uh, so those things you're going to see in this session okay so let's get into the slide first so if you take any component uh, in Adobe, it has a property, okay, and this component is coming under object library palette, and the properties are coming under object palette. Okay, um, so here, if you take any any component, uh, you have it can be like field, just a, about the field, what type of field it is, and what is the name of the field, and what is the description. And then value, so you can you can pass a default value, and then uh, you can pass some uh, relevant to the value. You have some options over there, and binding is not like nothing but uh, binding the variable to the particular component. So whatever values you can pass the to the variable that will reflect in the component. And draw is especially for the image. Uh, we have this option. So depends on the component, this properties also gets varied. Okay. Then uh, one of the component is date field. This is a component. It's coming under a standard option. I have showed you uh, in the last video where the object, how the object library looks like. And uh, I didn't expand with other categories. Today we are going to see all the categories of the components. We have standard, we have a custom, and we have a form builder, we have WebDyne Pro, native controls and we have isr native controls so those things also available so we'll see that over overview of that but we need uh, some more following videos to learn about the components a little deep uh, because as i mentioned we are going to spend more time on layout in the adobe forms because we have that much components available and that much properties are available for that components okay so uh, if you want to pass a default value you have few options in the layout itself like uh, under the object palette you have option to pass a default value or if you feel the value to be at the runtime uh, then what you can do is you can pass it in the interface level so in the interface there are two options either in a form data the form interface so if you want to pass a value from a driver program through a driver program then you can go with the form data or it's a global data the initialization is the place where uh, you can pass a value or in the global data itself there is an option called default value so there are a lot of options available to pass a value to the variable okay so once the binding happens with this variable to the component automatically it's reflected it's reflected in your component also at the time of uh, pdf preview and uh, these are the ones which we're going to see lot of uh, simple things which you're going to see today and uh, as I mentioned this is going to be an offline form so user is not going to edit anything just only for visibility I'm going to use this component and uh, um, these are coming from I think these two from standard and these are from custom um, category and we have another category called barcode so we have a lot of barcodes available so it depends on the need uh, you can able to use it and you can pass the value to the barcode uh, through programmatically using some uh, variables and then uh, we have form builder we have like, like localized full date long date medium and short a lot of components are available so whenever you have a requirement just go through all the components uh, definitely you will find one based on your requirement okay. 
And then uh, native is another uh, area where we need to explore more about this native uh, components. So one is Web Dynamics native, and another one is ISR native controls. And some versions depends on the version or patches. This particular ISR native controls category is not available. So please check with your basic security team. So how to enable this and depends on your uh, version as well. Okay. So these two are we are going to see detail in detail about these two um, controls more in following videos. That's it. Uh, let's get into the system. So this is my system. TGI. I'm going to have um, some variables like one as import. Maybe I'll go with uh, import date type item. I'll just go with optional because if you want to execute uh, every time I want to give the date, that is the reason I give the optional. It depends on your need. You can make this uh, flag enable or disabled. In global data. I may go with uh, email address type um, select authority. So maybe I'll go with some default values A B C D at xyz dot com. Okay, just save it and act to order it. Then go back, create a form. CGI Adobe components create and then the interface is CGI <coughs> interface underscore component save it local object yes so I have an interface uh, always remember if you want anything to be bind in a layout level then this values or variables data medium to be in your context okay Let's see without this what will happen in the layout. So go to layout. By default, I'll have one master page and one data view. So technically, we call it as uh, subform or body page. So I have one. This is a page set means page set. So here you can see, and this is my master page. Okay, page name. And this is my content area. So uh, as I mentioned, there is one content area by default in your master page. And this is my body page. So automatically the control comes to uh, design view over here. Okay. So sorry. Double click. Yeah. If you want, you can rename this also. Mm, rename body page. Okay. This is my master page. So let's get into the object library. So here uh, you don't mind about where I'm going to keep it because I want to show some examples. So that can be a master page or a design view. Okay, it's this is just for practice. So uh, we will see more detail about uh, the master page, design view, content, uh, content area, subforms, and everything. Okay. So now I need a date field over here. You can drag and drop or double click wherever the cursor it's, it's going to keep it in that particular area or space. So here it's middle of the page. You can drag and drop wherever you want. Okay. Okay. This. Yeah. Then go to palettes. Object. So if you see uh, the value default value, if you want, you can give some default values and the field, the properties of the component. What is the type caption? If you want to uh, change, you can do that. And you have visible uh, presence. Also, we have where you want to visible only the screen and only in the print or uh, you want to exclude from the layout one side printing, two side printing. Options are available for most of the components. You have this option. And if you go to the binding, so currently we, we are not able to do any binding. The reason is I didn't have any data medium is mapped with my context. So I have created an interface, but it's not uh, bringing to the context level because context is the middle layer between your interface and the layout. So whatever you want to 
do a binding in a layout level so that needs to be the data medium could be anything internet table or work area or variable that needs to be um, included in the context level then only it will be visible in the layout okay so now i'll go to context so now i need this date and i need this gmi this variable okay both are now in context so go to layout so now if you see the binding so it's visible okay so now i want this to be mapped so okay this is another area the binding properties how you want to bind this variable so additional properties like you want to update based on your variable whatever variable you are binding based on that those properties are to be applied to the components for example if you say update all related properties the name is getting changed with the variable name and what are the properties if that there is any uh, short text medium text also to be applied for this okay so if i say click okay what happens is this date field name is getting changed with the variable name um, mostly we go with don't update any related properties pro because the variable name is different the screen field name might different okay so if you say update all related properties you can see just click ok so it gets changed it's im date those informations are getting changed okay so that is the reason most okay i'll go with this one maybe second thing i'm not going to use uh, update all related properties okay so I'm done and then what I can do is I need to pass some default values from the layout level I'm able to do it I can move this or undock okay over here um, I'm not that much good with that so you can you can have both in the same one like object library object you can just drag and drop or just uh, minimize the size of your palettes if you want both in the same screen Okay, so now I want to give a value. So here default values, I'm going to give um, like one, one. There are some formats, okay. If there is, a, if suppose if you give like this, sorry. So if there is an invalid format, automatically you will get a message. So it's invalid patterns, cannot be formed as a pattern. So this is going to be like this. Let me try ours. Yeah, perfect. So now it's come with a, uh, some default format, whatever you want. It's selected, it's, it's come this way. Okay. And then the next one could be let's go with the email option. So that has mostly come with custom. Let's see. So I'm not doing some other like buttons and everything because for that we need to understand first of all how the interactive uh, Adobe will work. So that is the reason I'm not, I'm just going with very few uh, components where I can fill the values in the uh, compile time itself. And if you have a curse, if you keep the cursor, any of the component, it gives some description what actually this component will use. Okay, so countries, so display a drop down list. Um, so it, it's taken from a diff, the the link also it shows where it is getting getting uh, taken the values and the current date so everything you'll get some descriptions on it so, okay it's, it's in our tool tip so email maybe I have to go with the binding and email so email is has some default value in the interface level so just click ok don't update any related properties because i don't want to change the name of it then click ok so i have two components uh, right now so let me and another one is always if you go to the context level and save and activate it. So if you give a layout, what happens is it's activated, but it's not saved the context property. Then in every execution, excuse me, 
it will ask um, do you want to save this form okay so always go to the contacts tab then save check and act order it so it won't cause much things even if you click save as yes, it will work as expected but uh, once you come back you can able to see your object is in the inactive state so the best practice come to the context of your adobe and act what it so and then i'm going to execute i'll get a function module and this is an optional field so currently i'm just leaving empty and click print preview as i don't have adobe installed so i have used chrome to see my uh, pdf output so now the value for IMT is empty and if you go down you are able to see the email okay abc at xyz.com so here the things to be noted is the default value for date is given in the layout level okay layout what is the value for it okay layout level and the default value for email is given in the interface level so here the binding is happened in both the components so here also there's a binding happen so once the binding happens it's always depends on that particular variable so the variable im date uh, is doesn't have any default value in the interface level so it's it's showing as an empty box over here but here this default value is in the interface level the global variable so it's, it's displaying the default value so the understanding is if you want to give a default value from the layout make sure that component doesn't have any binding okay if it is binding it's always depends on that particular variable so even though if you want a binding and if you want a default value as well then you have to use the interface concept okay so now i'm going to give the value for the date at the runtime let's see how it works so here i am date is going to be um 2022 okay 2024 01 01 okay sorry uh, 01.01.2024 okay then print review open okay so here it's reflected so the default value also depends how you want so if there is no binding then layout default value works better if it is a binding so prefer you go with give a default value in the interface level okay so these are the very few uh, examples uh, about how the components to be placed and what are the bindings or applicable fields for that component so we'll see few more components so we'll go to the layout so here i am in the custom so if you double click the name this is some formats so by default sorry You will get like this. And if you want, you can just drag and drop. Okay. So if it is a name, you will get last name, first name, and initials. And then if you go with address block, so you'll get name. It's little slow address city these are some formers you will get from this kind of components okay so page navigation suppose i want a page navigation so like page one by one of one two of one so like that so sorry not like that this is a page one i'm not going to use this because i'm not in the interactive so i think this one page n of m so it shows currently you are in which page and out of total Okay, and then you will get some survive questions. So those are little pretty interesting. Like you don't want to uh, work one by one, just click survey questions. You will get a template. Basically, you will get a template. So these things you are able to modify. Then go to context. I'm not going to bind anything. So this is just for a visible. Let's see how it visible in the output. Execute. Execute. Print view. So my date is empty. So the date field is comes as a blank. 
so it's blank so last name first name so it's easy to de uh, design any kind of form so most of these are interactive so once you come to the interactive then we are able to use this options and the other one is address block and the page is also showing us page one of one so currently i have only one page so i have one page one of one okay so just play around and if you're new to this adobe just play around with the different components and make sure you're a little comfortable uh, how to do where to do especially in the sfp transaction okay so then it's very easy to understand any business requirement and uh, it, it's quite comfortable to design or change any existing adobe forms so that is very important so what is layout what is context so how the data is transferred from interface to layout. So those things are a little important to get into the um, actual Adobe Forms design. Okay, and then the next one is a barcode. <coughs> it's the same like uh, the other components, barcode also is you have different formats. You can make, you can uh, get any one depends on your need. And then uh, you can bind with the value. You can give some default values. Mostly we won't give good default values for barcodes. So just close it. Barcodes. Just pick any one of the format. Okay, so I'll just go code one to eight. So here, and uh, this is the object. So which layout you want? So you, this is extra for this component. We don't have the layout option in some other components. So uh, the dimensions you you can just uh, fix it for this, or is easy one is manual drag and drop. Uh, based on that it will just adjust okay and go to object and you have the data binding options so currently i don't have anything on that and you have a value so default value is one one two three and with nine so if you change that will reflect over there also one 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 it changes here okay so it the same thing it's look like in your uh, pdf output also so this is about barcode and if you go with the form builder So you have an option of a different format of dates, like if you want a full date and then a long date, where does it get placed, okay, full date, okay, delete it. And is a long date and medium date. Okay, depends on the values, so it'll get displayed here. <coughs> Excuse me. You can, you can give the default values here. So one of the uh, use in the layout level default value was it will reflect in your design time itself. You don't want to execute and see how it's uh, a display in the output. Okay. So here again, what's the format? Two zero one zero one. Okay, so here's one one twenty two twenty two is all is changed, and if you go to the long date, it's a medium date, and if you go to long date and give the values twenty twenty two zero one zero one, so it gives it's Jan is gives January and it's a full date and how it shows full date. Okay, so this is a best mark. It's, it's text overflowed. It's common for uh, mostly for the text field, and just expand it. Okay, excuse me. Okay, and then field you have an option how you want. Like um, one second. And like the appearance so this is again uh, depends on the design so if you want only just an underline or you want some solid box so depends on the need you can just change this with the help of uh, properties okay just, <coughs> just 
just play around and make sure you are good with the components where the components are how to bind it and how the values are getting transferred from the interface to layout so once you're good with this and how you design the interface this is a very basic about adobe so once you're fine then we can or you can move on with uh, small small examples and then you can do some complex designs also okay so always i mentioned just understand the design first then it'll be very easy to uh, play around with the particular object okay so i hope this might be useful for you and thank you so much for your time and see you in the next video with some more options in adobe thank you bye